When you start with a new project you see the outline of our rectangular terrain solid in 2D with the center of our 3D world in the middle. Start inserting your walls inside the terrain, accuracy of the position relative to the terrain is not so important but walls should not appear outside. Select the wall type and tool variant and set the starting point of your first wall. You can now open the wall property dialog from the right mouse button context menu. Define the wall thickness of your exterior walls and, if necessary, the layer structure. The 2D representation of walls is also depending on the layer material properties. If you want to draw your walls with a color of your choice just click on the material button and edit the 2D properties. This applies to each layer if your walls have more than one. Finally you can save your settings as default in order to keep your settings for further sessions or projects. Use our shortcut Ctrl plus W to change the reference point. As you can see with every Ctrl plus W the wall sides toggle under your cursor. Left, right and axis. Now that the properties are correct draw the wall in the needed direction. The shown length of the wall and the value in our numeric dialog always refer to the active wall side under your cursor. Insert the second point in a dialog showing the current length and angle appears if you are using the numeric input tool. In a polygonal input tool the last point of the previous wall is automatically the starting point of the next so you can continue with your exterior building contour straight away. Keeping the control key pressed while dragging a wall activates the internal angle grid and ensures that you draw accurate vertical or horizontal walls. Drag the last wall to close the contour with your mouse onto the first wall. If the software recognizes a closed contour it automatically creates a first room with a floor. You can now continue with your interior walls. Start the tool for an interior wall and set the starting point. If you have a situation where the starting point is at a corner then zoom in with your mouse wheel. Click exactly on the corner and open the property dialog. Make your wall settings, save them as default if necessary and continue. Toggle your wall sides with Ctrl plus W and drag the wall. If the wall is intersected with other walls and forms a closed contour a new room is automatically created. The easiest way to mark an accurate position for an interior wall is inserting a parallel numeric 2D guideline. Start the guideline tool and move your cursor over one side of your existing walls. As soon as the software detects an element under its cursor the guideline preview is highlighted in red. Pick this position with a left mouse click and move the guideline in the needed direction. A second click opens the dialog to specify the numeric distance. You can now use this 2D guideline to insert the next interior wall. Set the starting point, toggle with Ctrl plus W and insert it. If the wall length is not automatically defined by an intersection with other walls you can use the numeric editor when a wall is selected or just mark the position with another numeric 2D guideline and lengthen or shorten the wall to this point. As default walls are always as high as the floor so if you change the height in our floor properties dialog all walls automatically react. 
You can define the floor height before you start inserting your walls or any time later. You should not change the height of a wall individually as long as it is not necessary for a special construction situation.